being a provider for your children does not make you a great parent. It's literally about having an emotional connections with them. And so many of us have been emotionally neglected and then we have parents that provide for us and then they think, oh, I did the best I could do. I did my job. I went above and beyond because I provided materialistic things for you that only feed the flesh of you, but not feed the spirit of you. And then we wonder why so many of these kids is out here just lost, just feeling all the different things that they feel inside you figure like what i mean we have a great home we have a nice home we have this we have that but there's no love it's like an empty house with no love in it living in a big big nice house but no love is in the house no peace is in the house that it, it matters what's going on in the inside the emotional aspect and i just feel like so many parents are hypocrites you're a demand from a man or from a woman you know depending on the sex you're a demand from your significant other for them to tend to your emotional aspects the intimacy you need the love and affection you need from them but uh, but you can't tend to that affection and love and nurturing that your children need you think it's, you're supposed to get that from a spouse or from a significant other. You want them to tend to more than just your physical needs, but you can't tend to more than just your children's physical needs. And then we wonder why they're growing up with these mental illnesses that they have, that a lot of us have, these personality disorders that we have. It's because as children, you find other ways to cope with what you're not receiving. So sometimes you go inner, sometimes you seek the outer, and you wonder why the kids is out here looking for love in all the wrong places. Why we grow up until adults are still looking for love in all the wrong places because we've never got that inside needs fulfilled. Anybody can, can buy you some clothes and shoes and, and give you some shelter. But who's going to provide that love? Who's going to build the bond of memories? Who's going to do that? Huh? Who's going to be that shoulder to cry on? Every child wants to know that they can, they can trust their parents. That they know that their needs is going to be met from their parents. Emotional needs. Not when they fall and hurt themselves and you tell them just suck it up. Or just act like anything that they're facing is invalid. So many children grow up living in a house. You might live in a nice house, but it's no love in a house, no peace in a house. It don't matter about you just simply being there. The same way so many people in relationships, you can be in a relationship and still feel alone. So many people do that. You stay in something just to have a body around you, but you don't feel no love. You don't feel none of the energy. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. We feel energies we need to feel these things to feel like we're flourishing and, and properly growing as the the humans we we desire to be as we're growing into being your children need to feel that love just like you need to feel that love from your partner if you don't feel it you ain't if you're not feeling it mentally and, and emotionally it doesn't matter about the physical because it gets to a point where after the kids are grown up and they can provide for themselves it's like okay now what you have to offer what do you have to offer as a parent when all you ever did was provide? And now that I'm grown, I provide for myself. So now what you have to offer? What can you bring to the table? Because I provide for myself now. So what else are we going to bond on? What we got to bond on now besides the things that you just bought me? What we got to bond on? So I think a lot of people need to really take that into consideration because... Man, she wants my water. Take that into consideration... You know, yes, it's hard. It ain't the easiest thing to do because you're trying to tend to your own needs and you got to tend to your kids' needs. But you decided to lay down, bust them legs up ahead and babies. You decided to do that. So at this point, you got to put yourself, of course, you got to put yourself first to a degree, but not narcissistically where it's like, oh, only my needs matter. My kids' needs don't matter. Oh, they all right. They fed. They, they got clothes. They got shoes. Are they good? They don't need no one-on-one -on -one time. They don't need me to sit there and read no books to them. They don't need me to sit there and just talk to them. They don't need me to draw with them. They don't need me to interact with them. They need that. Those are the memories that they remember. They don't. Be, they don't mem remember what mommy and daddy bought. You gonna remember that? So, hey. They're gonna remember certain of those things, but what really lasts is the memories you make. That's why it's so important to make memories with your children. No matter what your circumstances, because that's the stuff that they remember. They don't remember being like, oh, mommy, remember when you bought me? They get so much stuff over the course of years. They don't remember everything you bought them. Because that stuff is materialism. That stuff is fleshly desires. That stuff not spiritual desires. That's stuff, not stuff that feed the mind, feed the soul, feed the spirit. That's not stuff that feeds that. So, that's my little rant. 
That's my little rant because I'm just tired of seeing it. And I did the best I could. I provided. I did this for you. I took you here. I worked so hard just to make sure you guys can... First of all, providing benefits you too because you're not going to go homeless. You're not going to do these things. So, of course, you're going to naturally be providing for your children after you default. You can't send your kids out here naked. <laughs> you can't send them out. Well, some kids people do send their kids out there. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. But overall, you get the gist of it. Build those emotional connections with your children and build them while they're young because thinking that you could treat them any kind of way while they're young and then when they grow up, you thinking that they ain't gonna have no resentment towards you and you think, oh, because um, I'm your mother and Bible says honor thy mother, thy father, so it doesn't matter how old you get, you're gonna have to tend to me. No, they don't because you're gonna get being a rude awakening when your kids grow up and they don't mess with you. They don't deal with you because they have no reason. They see that you serve no purpose no more. Because the only thing that you only thing that you ever brought to the table was your ability to provide. So now that they grown and can provide for themselves, it's like, what are you gonna have to offer them? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. And then it's up to them at that point if they even want yeah. to build that emotional connection with you. Because they didn't went so many years without it. It's like why why have it now? Is it even worth having it now? You know? Yeah. So to each his own, you know, on the back end, but at the end of the day, we got to do better with our children because we wonder why we can't have healthy relationships. And a lot of times, so many of us are still suffering from childhood wounds that we don't address, that we don't heal from, that we don't even know we're dealing with. Stop, Ari. You can't have that. That we don't even know we're dealing with still. So really take that into consideration and do the inner work. It's a lot of healing that needs to be done, especially in the black community, period. Just also being black alone. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And we have children. We don't want this new generation having all these issues like us. Like we always complaining. Oh, I see so many people saying, oh, it's pissing a dating pool. Oh, it's this, all these toxic relationship issues and just toxicity that we passing on to our children. What we allowing them to see just because we codependent and can't properly heal the the wounds that we have so we latching on to this person and latching on to that person in hopes that they can fulfill that void that we have and they're not going to fill that void no other human can fill that void you have to do the work on yourself so and everything that you asking for of somebody look at what your kids are asking for from you or that they might not even say a lot of kids don't even say hey mom or dad i just need more time from you they're not going to say that but they need it they need it yeah, I'm, she nibbling on a nipple, so. They're not going to sit there and say that, but they need it. Same way you'll sit there and tell your partner, oh, I need more of this from you. And you expect them to adjust to that. Your kids do too. They're not just, oh, they should be seen and not heard. Oh, they don't matter. Because one thing about it is them tables always turn. And you sitting there playing on your kids like they don't matter. And like their their feelings is, is invalid. Don't wonder why they grow up and they become distant from you. They have no desire to have relationships with you. Because one thing about it is them tables always turn. And the same way the kids need you while they're young growing up, you're going to get old. And, and you're going to need your children. And then what do you think that they're going to do to you? They're going to send you right to a nursing home when you're old. When you washed up, when that man or that woman that you put before them, when they leave you and no longer with you, and now you grow up, the same one that you used to put before them, now they no longer in the picture once the kid grow up, and now you need your kid. And now they ain't going to have time for you. Now they're going to just send you on to a nursing home. Like you used to send them off to anybody just to have time for your man or this girl or whoever. Remember, everything that you put out, you will get back. You will get back because you're going to feel it. Whether you feel it in old age, because we all start out as babies and then we divert back to babies again as we get old. Because now you old and you need to be taken to the doctors. Now you need to have food dropped off to you. Now you need to be fed. Now you need to be changed. Now you need to be that same thing. And they're just going to leave you there. They're going to leave you there to rot like them people in them nursing homes be doing. So that's my little TED talk. That's my car rant. That's my little rant. Let me go back in here and check on my stuff. So I'll see y'all in the next video. But this is food for thought. Consider it.